Welcome back Java developers. This is the second video in the series of three. In this particular video we will learn the directory structure of the Tomcat server which we installed in the previous video. Uh, do refer this card if you haven't watched that. Alright, so this is the directory. The our first folder is the bin folder in which our uh, most important exe ex exists, which is this uh, tomcat9.exe, uh, which we run by right clicking run as administrator, then click yes. Alright, so this basically restart our server and we can see server set up in 1361 milliseconds. Alright, let's minimize for now and go to other directory. This is the second directory which is conf, basically the configuration in which we can <clears throat> see many configuration files but uh, you might need this server.xml for changing our port number. So let's open in this um, text editor like uh, sublime text editor or you can use my editor which I developed. Uh, let's go to that, go back to this. Scroll down and you will find the first connector tag yes here it is we can see connector tag and port is 6060 which we set manually in via installation so let's go to our browser and uh, yes our site is up let's refresh this yes the server is running and we are seeing this message because tomcat installed successfully all right if somehow uh, this port 6060 got busy or uh, if you have installed tomcat and this set server the default one which is 8080 you might sometime face this issue like uh, you start your server but in browser you can see server can't, can't reach right now so this happens when <clears throat> this port number is busy with some other services to tackle this issue we can simply change this port number so let's change this to 5050 or it was 6060 and save this file now we have to restart our server for that just go to this console and press ctrl c this will stop your server All right, and go back to the bin. Right click Tomcat 9.exe, run as administrator. Yes. Okay, our server is up again. And if we go to this, and we can see localhost 6000, 6000, refresh this. Yes, we can see this site can't be reached because we changed this port number of the service. And the new port number is 5050. So localhost call in 5050, enter. Yes, we can see. If you are seeing this, you have successfully installed Tomcat. Congratulations. Our Tomcat server is running perfectly on port number 5050. So this is the most important troubleshooting uh, which most of the users get because we don't uh, only use one server especially while developing our web application. The second troubleshoot we need to done is uh, set up the Tomcat services to manual. What actually happened when you first install Tomcat the service in Windows set the Tomcat services as automatic. So when you restart your system after installing tomcat the second time you go to bin 
and run this tomcat 9.exe what will happen it will blink and destroy so you will not understand what actually happened to overcome this go to services simply search for that hit enter and we can see apache tomcat 9.2 tomcat 9 which is a service name right click go to properties and set this startup type or from automatic to manual click ok we can see now tomcat 9 services set up to manual all right the third folder is the left folder in which we can see there are many jar files yes this is the log folder in which we can see the logs whatever we uh, do on the server it created simple text file of logs so today is 28th of august so we get so many files uh, regarding uh, what i did today other most important folder or we can say the most frequently used folder is your web apps this is the folder where you deploy your web application all right for now we uh, haven't deployed any web applications so basically the page uh, we can see this is created by this root the next folder is the work which is for tomcat only uh, basically we know uh, when we write a jsp code internally internally it converted to the servlet the work done behind the scene is reflected here in the work directory next are few files like license notice release notes which are not important for now and this is the default icon of tomcat and this is the application for uninstalling tomcat the most frequent directories are bin and web apps bin where your tomcat 9.exe resist and uh, work apps where you deploy uh, your web application in future that's all for this video in the next video in the third final video of tomcat mini series is uh, how to install tomcat via zip file and uh, if you haven't watched the installation video of tomcat server via setup file do watch that do refer this card and if you wonder uh, th about this new looking notepad it's actually developed by me so check card again for this uh, for its installation video thanks for watching